Welcome to Bayshore Solutions Internet Insights, where we'll talk about the latest trends and tactics on the web, learn how we use these strategies to grow our customers' business. Hi, my name is Ken Eldridge. I'm one of the developers here at Bayshore Solutions. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about uh, building a website and why taking some time up front can save you a lot of time and headaches later. If you stepped into a taxi and said, I don't know where I'm going, but get me there as fast as you can, you'd probably be met with a confused look from the driver. While this doesn't seem like a very good way to get around, I've encountered it countless times when developing websites. Quite often a client won't have the vision of a final product, but they want you to come up with something that interests them, to spark their creative juices. They usually say, I don't know what I want, but I'll know it when I see it. This is actually a very understandable reaction. While building a website for your business can be an exciting process, it can be overwhelming as well. Very often, clients will have a hard time understanding how websites get constructed. To help, I have often used the analogy of how building a website is much like building a house. In fact, building your home can also be overwhelming. With locations, floor plans, wall colors, etc., the options seem endless. It's actually not until you start ruling out and limiting options that it seems doable. And also, like building a house, you don't want to begin construction until you have everything planned out and both parties have signed off. This is the phase where changes have the lightest impact. Much like changes to a floor plan, making design or requirement changes early in the process to your site are simple, easily, and shouldn't really affect cost. However, making changes later on in the development process can be much more difficult and costly. This is why taking the time to know about as much as your business as possible in the beginning is essential to making sure that not only do you get the product you expect, but the product stays on budget. Now, let's go into why changes become increasingly more difficult later on in the process. Without going into too many details, when architecting websites, you start by making certain assumptions based on business requirements. Things like, accounting also always needs to get approvals, assistants always need management approval before submitting, things like that. It's not until all of your business requirements have been discovered that development on your site should even begin. Things that almost never happen need to be discussed and planned for as well, so there are no surprises later. Now let me say that again. If you know something that happens in the process, but it's rare, it almost never happens, you shouldn't have to concern yourself about it, uh, it is just as important to the developer as a process that happens all the time. Basically, if the system has to account for it, we should know about it up front. It's these little missing pieces in the discovery process that can lead to big headaches later. Furthermore, as your site is being constructed, application architecture is also being created. Layers of code are written, each with a specific purpose, like what needs to be stored into the database, what third-party pieces need to be integrated, the order of workflows, and how the user experience will be. So, much like a house that starts with the foundation and framing, these layers of code will eventually be your completed website. Often, these layers will be dependent on other parts, Therefore, the more of these layers that have been constructed, the more difficult and more time-consuming it will be to make these changes. Okay, let's go back to the house analogy for a second. Imagine talking with an architect and telling them that you wanted a bedroom to be a bit bigger and are willing to lose a little space in the living room to make up for it. During the design phase, it's not a big deal. He or she will most likely come back in a day or so to present the new floor plan. Now contrast that to a much later in the process, as now you are talking to the contractor about moving a window from one wall to the other after everything has been framed out. Now it's a much more involved process, if they even will allow it. So while coding changes can certainly be done late in the process, it's going to be a much more involved and likely to delay development and perhaps increase cost. So the moral of the story is, take the time to make sure that everything is known before development begins and you will be on your way to get the site you expect. Again, this is Ken Eldridge. I'm a developer for Bayshore Solutions. And for any of your website needs, visit us at www.bayshoresolutions.com. Thanks for listening. Bayshore Solutions is a premier digital agency focused on helping our customers sell more and grow their business. Contact us at bayshoresolutions.com to learn more about how we can put our expertise to work for you.